Welcome to a new video of my Unity MMO tutorial series and in this lecture we will start with Uma. Yeah okay at first um, you will have to install the Uma package and text match pro package for our project and yeah therefore we have to go to the asset store and you can type uma in it and then you see a lot of stuff with uma and we need to use uma2 unity multi-purpose avatar and you need a co an account for unity and then you have to click here um i've got it and then you have free so you don't need to pay anything to them and then you can start import and this will take a little bit and yeah i decided for uma because uma is a very very mighty tool you can do character creations and customizations of a character with very very much things so you can add armors and all stuff like this and you can find a lot of humor packages in the asset store and yeah you can create your own wardrobes and yeah stuff like this and um if we do this on our own it will take very 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 long it seems like it take a little bit yeah we have to wait to d downloading this and um yeah you can see you have a lot of stuff here we have the female we have the male materials textures and yeah we have a lot of stuff we need to import and as you can see th this is very long and yeah you have um slots like arms and so on so it's very easy to put uh, clothes on it on shoulders and arms gloves and so on and we have a lot of um like the beard or like the abrons you can customize with at first we um we don't want to create as yeah we don't uh, want to create um much complicated um character creation but we will yeah m maybe we will advance our simple character creation from time to time and yeah now we click on import and it will take a few minutes and we have to wait for for it and after this we need to add another package too it's um, because a little bit better than the normal ui text stuff so we will install the text mesh pro package and it will help us get our ui a little bit easier or much better with of the scaling with the ui text And you can customize its colors and yeah stuff like this yeah today it's take a long time to download stuff but if we have this it will save us a lot of time because we don't need to create the the sliders on our own you 
we, we don't need to add the slots on our own and so on. Yeah, we can um, perhaps we change our login screen and so on to uh, yeah to bring it uh, into a better uh, stuff. So we can add some background images. We can create better t um, text UI with with the uh, text mesh pro. We will use here in our Director set and then yeah we we will um do some some um design customization in the next few videos so the framework will become a little bit a bit better for optical view. Yeah, Uma is a very big package, that's why it takes so long to download and yeah. Or to import to Unity. The Text Mesh Pro will not take so long. But uh with this we have a lot of stuff in it. As you can see it's downloaded. And yeah, do you have a documentation? You have a Uma content creation docu uh, document, and yeah, a lot of stuff in it. Getting started, this folder we um, need for the first um, time, but at first we have to inside the text mesh pro, and this is here. This is from from Unity uh, itself. And as you can see, you can create a lot of stuff with, with it. So we click on download and uh, import as well. As you can see, you don't have so much. And the import will... So easy. And after this, we need to create a new scene in our scenes folder but first we wait to import the package okay and there we go here is a text mesh pro and then we can go to the scene go to the scene folder and we need to go to file new scene and we will save the scene in our scenes folder and character and we will create this um call it jar creation and yeah for testing stuff I will create a new 3D object and will be the plane. So we have the plane here. We can put this a little bit um, nearer to the camera. And then we go to our Yuma content uh, folder and go to the getting started. And we need a Yuma DCS and um, drop it on our panel or our um, scene hierarchy. And as you can see, the uh, race library, the slot library, the overlay library, and the generator, the contents, SS loader, and mesh combiner. And we will need it later. So now we can drag and drop the um, dynamic character and I will 
drag him nearer to the camera, save the scene and we can... Okay, we have some errors. These um, errors are because of um, our Unity cache folder. And I need to I need to re-import everything. Okay, I will um, stop this here and we'll re-import everything and in the next lecture we go to the play button. And if you got these errors, you have to click on um, assets, re-import all and this will take a long time, so I will stop recording here and we'll do this and in the next video we show how the character works and yeah, start creating the first UI we need. If you have any questions in, in this way, um, you can join my Discord server or can leave a comment down below the videos. And if you like my content, you can click on the thumbs up and leave a positive comment or, yeah. And thank you for watching my videos.